Hello children, how are you all? So today we are going to start with the first chapter, large numbers and the topic is Indian number system. So first of all we are going to start with number of places and periods in Indian number system. Now let's start with it. Indian number system. In Indian number system, the first nine places are divided into these four periods. First is ones, then thousands, lakhs and crores. And the very first period that is ones is divided into three places that is ones, tens and hundred. After that all other periods are divided into two two places. Thousand, ten thousand, lakh, ten lakh, crore, ten crore. And remember one thing, this crores, lakh, thousand and ones, these all are periods. We will not say them places, these all are periods. And these ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, lakh, ten lakh, crore and ten crore, these all are places. So how many periods are there till nine places? There are four periods, ones, thousands, lakhs, crores and we have to remember this thing that the first period that is once is divided into three places and rest all other periods will be divided into two two places. So uh, this is what I want to wanted to tell you about the Indian number system. Now we will take some of the examples. Suppose uh, I have taken this example and I have written this number in this Indian place value chart. So first of all, I have to put commas in between. See how we are going to put commas. See, uh, we will start from this right side. First of all, in first period, there are three places in Indian number system. So leaving these three places, we will put one comma. After that, rest all other periods have two two places. So after leaving two two places, I have to put commas. So see here, I have left two places and I have put one comma. Again, we will leave these two places and we will put this comma. So this is the method to put commas in between the digits in Indian number system. Now I'll tell you how to write the number name of this Indian number system. See, uh, this is which place? This is ones, tens, hundreds. It means this is ones period. This is thousand, this is lakhs, and this one is crores. Fine. So, according to this, we can write the number name also. This 31 is in the period of crores. So, how we will write 31 crores, 55 lakh. Seventy six thousand three hundred ninety two. So this is the method to write the number name according to Indian number system and to put the commas according to Indian number system. Now if we have given the number name and we have to write the number then how we will write? See here it is 78 crore. First of all we are going to write 78. After that here it is crore. So how many zeros are there in crore? In crore there are seven zeros. So it means seven more digits after 78. So we will leave space for seven more digits. After that seven lakh. Seven lakh. In lakh how many zeros are there? In lakh there are five zeros. So we have to leave space for five digits. 
One, two, three, four, five. It means we have to write down seven here. Okay, and we will put zero here. At last, there is thirty-two. So we will write thirty-two because after thirty-two there is not any digit. So we have to write thirty-two at the last and in between, where there is space, we have to put the zeros. Is it clear to all? So now. After that, the next step will be putting commas in between. How we will put the commas? Again, after this first period, it means three places. Leaving these three places, I have to put comma, and then leaving these two places, and again leaving two places. So this is the method to write the number when we have given the number name in Indian number system. Hello, students. So today we are going to start with exercise one point one of chapter one, large numbers. So uh, we will start with the first question. So let's come to the first question. First question is write the following numbers in the Indian place value chart. Now we have given the numbers and we have to arrange these numbers into this Indian place value chart. First of all, start writing this. Here we have. We will start writing from the last. It means we will start writing from the ones. One, nine, eight, two, seven, six, three. Uh, can you read out this number? See, it is in lakhs period, so we will read it as thirty six lakh seventy two thousand eight hundred ninety one. So to write down the number in Indian place value chart, we have to start from this ones place. So now let's come to the B part. Again, we will start writing from the ones place. One, four, two, nine, five, three, eight, five. So how can we read it? Five crore eighty three lakh. Fifty nine thousand two hundred forty one. Now let's come to the C part. Five four zero seven eight two nine seven four. So we will read it as four crore seventy nine lakh twenty seven thousand forty five. This is the one method. Or what else you can do is you can put. The uh, firstly the commas. So suppose you have start uh, you have started putting commas. So how will you put the commas? You will put comma here after one period, then here. So uh, firstly you will read it. This is like thirty six lakh seventy two thousand eight hundred ninety one. It is thirty six lakh. So you will start from this ten lakh thirty six lakh. Seventy-two thousand eight hundred ninety-one, and rest all others also you can do by this method also. Okay, now come to the second question. Second question is mark the periods using commas in the following numbers according to Indian place value system. Now, first of all, we have to put commas in the given numbers, and then we have to mark the periods. See. First of all, we are going to put comma here after three places, then after two places. Now we have to mark the periods. This is lakh period, so twenty six lakhs thirty seven thousand one hundred forty five. Now let's come to the B part. Firstly, we have to put the commas. So after three places, then two places. So now we have to mark the periods. This will be forty-three lakhs sixty-seven thousand and two hundred one. Okay. Now let's come to the C part. Again, we have to put the commas. Fine. 
and then we have to mark the periods once period then thousand then lakh and then crore so this will be 1 crore 78 lakhs 63000 and 982 so 982 is the ones place so we will write it like this only so this is the method to mark the periods using commas in the given numbers after that we have to start with the third question write the numerals for the following number names sorry ha huh. so we have given number names and we have to write down the numerals here it is 45 lakh 6009 here it is 45 lakh So firstly we will write forty five. Now here it is lakh. So in lakh how many zeros are there? Five. So we have to leave space for five more digits. Then here it is six thousand. Six thousand means after six there should be three more digits. So we have to leave space for three digits and then we have to write six. It means Here we have blank space, so we will put zero here. Then here it is nine. So after nine, there is not any digit, so we have to write this nine at the last. And these blank spaces we have to fill with zeros. And then we can easily uh, put the commas in between after three places, and then after two places. I hope it is clear to you all. Now B part. Twenty-eight crore. So firstly, we will write twenty-eight. Now here it is crore. So in crore, how many zeros are there? Seven. So we have to leave seven digit space. Then after twenty-eight crore, here it is nine hundred. Nine hundred means in hundred there are two zeros. So we have to leave space for Two digits. So, leaving these two digits, we have to write nine here. Then forty-two. Here it will be forty-two. And these blank spaces we have to fill with zeros. And then we have to put commas. Fine. Now let's come to the C part. Seven crore three hundred nine. Seven. Crore. Crore means seven more digits. Then here it is three hundred. Three hundred means after three there should be two more digits. So three will be here, and we will leave space for two digits. Then here it is nine at the last. So we will write nine here, and rest all blank spaces we have to fill with zeros. Clear. Now the last D part is one crore six lakh three thousand five. One crore. Crore means seven more digits. Then six lakh. Six lakh means after six there should be five more digits. So we have to leave space for five digits. One, two, three, four, five. So where will be our six? Six will be here. Then. Three thousand. Three thousand means after three there should be three more digits. One, two, three. So three must be here. Then at the last here it is five. And rest all the spaces will be filled with yes zeros. Now we have to put commas. Okay. So this is the method to write the numerals for the given number name. Now the next question is question number four. Write the number names for the following numbers. Now we have given the numbers and we have to write down the number names. So let's start with writing the places: ones, tens, hundred, thousand, 
ten thousand and then lakh. This three is in lakhs place. So we will start writing as three lakh forty five thousand six hundred. Seventy eight. Okay, and then come to the B part. Again, we will start writing the places first, so it will be easy for us to write down the number name. Ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, lakh, ten lakh. Now this is in lakhs period, so this will be twenty seven lakh, twenty seven lakh, eighty thousand, four hundred three. Okay, so children, you uh, whenever you have to write the number names, then uh, it will be easy for you to write the number name if you have written the places first. So write down the places first, then you can write the number name very easily. Now let's come to the fifth question. Circle the numbers that are written correctly according to Indian place value system. So children, what we have to notice in this, we just have to check whether the commas are placed correctly or not. And as we have already discussed that in Indian place value system, the first comma, see, will be after three places first. So here the first comma is after three places, then after two places. Okay, so. It means this is the number which is written correctly according to Indian number system. Now let's come to the B part. Here it is after three places, then two places. So again, this is also correctly written. Now here the commas are after three places, then after one places, but it is not correct, na? As I have told you that we have to put. Commas after three places and then after two places, but here it is placed after one place, so this is not correctly written. Now let's come to D part. Here the comma is placed after one place only, so here from here only we can get to know that it is not correctly written. Now come to E part. After two places have. The comma is placed. So again, it is not correctly written. So this is the method to check whether the number is written correctly according to Indian number system or not. So students, uh, this is what we have done today. We have done exercise one point one. We have completed this exercise one point one and. We have done how to write in numbers names, how to write in numbers, and how to write in Indian place value chart. So what you have to do is, I have explained you the questions. So you have to do three, three more parts of these kind of questions. Suppose I have uh, taken three examples of writing in number names. So you have to take uh, numbers by yourself, and you have to write three more examples of uh, that kind of questions. Okay. Understand? So you have to do three, three more examples which I have explained today. So then I'll be checking your notebooks. Fine. So that's all for today. Thank you so much.